Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV. We are here live from DCD, Virginia, just outside of Washington, DC and Leesburg at the Lansdowne Resort. Very excited to be here among, I believe, 1800 data center professionals of all kind of corners of the industry. I'm Candace Sipos with JSA. We are, of course, talking stories, trends and innovations with leaders in the digital infrastructure industry with you today. And so one of those leaders that I'm very happy to, to have on JSA TV today is Dr. Antif Ansar. Um, so you are executive chairman and co-founder of Foresight. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Candice, for having me here. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll just dive right in then. So um, for viewers who might not be as familiar with Foresight, um, Foresight.Works, I believe, is your website. So you can check it out there for more information. But could you just give our viewers a little bit of an overview of what you all do? Absolutely. Well, Candice, thanks very much for having me. So schedule is king in a large construction project like building a data center, yet nine out of 10 data centers run over time. Mm. And this has huge financial implications for the owners of the data centers, their end customers like the hyperscalers, as well as the contractors. The schedule is an essential document of record that coordinates the entire supply chain and the multiple stakeholders. So Foresight is a solution to really improve your schedule optimization mm -hmm. and then be able to drive those insights that help to coordinate all the multiple parties and make sure that you avoid a delay. Oh, perfect. That's it in a nutshell. And, you know, so it's a, a really interesting, um, you all have been operating in the data center space for a while, but, you know, a, a, a interesting player in the industry, helping with this really critical, like you said, nine out of 10 going data center projects going over schedule. So really, really important part um, and an interesting use of AI, right, um, in the in the industry. So we're, we were talking a lot at this conference about all the different uses of AI to support data center build out, build out and projects. Um, so, Candice, a really good point around the AI. So where AI comes into scheduling is over time, also because of my research work at Oxford University, mm -hmm. I built one of the world's largest data sets of data center construction projects. And these are Primavera P6 files or Microsoft Project Files, which is two of the key tools that our audience might be using in managing their construction projects. These databases like Primavera P6, which is an Oracle product or Microsoft Project, contain really valuable information. But that information typically gets buried in a black box. Mm. So we have assembled thousands of these files for one of you know the largest data set of its kind for data center construction in the industry. And on top of that, we've fitted a variety of AI and machine learning algorithms mm. to really be able to pinpoint the key bottlenecks and learnings from past projects that can enable the industry to move a lot faster. As you know, data centers are going through an absolutely explosion mm -hmm. of construction volume. So in 2020, about 450 megawatts were under construction in the US. Mm. In 2024, that's over 5,000 megawatts. So a 10x increase in volume of construction, you simply don't have enough people in the industry to cope with this massive scaling. People need AI tools to speed up the amazing work they're doing. Yeah, we have to use the technology that's available to us, right? Absolutely. Uh, awesome. So can you talk a little bit about the key financial impacts of these project delays that, that you've been referring to? How, do, how does that really affect these data center projects? So look, from our data set, what we've mm -hmm. learned is that 9 out of 10 data centers run over time. Mm -hmm. The average delay is 34%. It's really sizable. We're talking end-to-end. -end, so that includes design, procurement, construction, and commissioning. Um, so that means a 20-month project is liable to become like a 27 month or 28 month project. So imagine you've got a 64 megawatt data center that will be generating revenues of about $10 million per month uh, upon start. Yeah. So every month's delay is eroding that revenue. You're not gonna see that revenue again because many of these data centers are contracted over a 15 year period and it's a term limit. So if you don't start the data center on time, that revenue is never coming back in your pocket. On top of that lost revenue, are increasing SLA fines, uh, service level agreements. So if you're not, if you don't open that 64 megawatt data center by way of an example on time, you might be experiencing one million dollars a week in in SLA penalties, um, and they accelerate. So if you keep getting delayed, they may be as high as million dollars a day in penalties you have to pay. Wow. Now many hyperscale customers have been fairly accommodating about these SLA penalties, particularly in COVID because of mitigations for COVID, but that mindset's changing. So it's certainly getting a little tighter um, yeah. and a bit more pointy around, around that. So that's just two of the 
impacts around lost revenue and SLA fines. On top of that, you've got layers of additional costs. Mm. Standing army costs of paying for the supply chain to be on the site. You've got to pay for costs of capital, costs of inflation. So there's just both above the line and below the line in terms of the, the total iceberg of the cost. It's a mm. tremendous impact. You just don't want to have to reckon with it. Yeah, those are some scary stats for sure. Absolutely. Uh, and I have, so one more stat I'm just going to read here. So f- Foresight claiming a 20% reduction in project costs. Um, so that's, yeah, that's an incredible stat as well. So where are the primary areas where these savings are achieved? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So imagine again, a 20 month data center, 64 mm-hmm. megawatts by way of an example, that becomes a 28 month data center. All those costs by reversing the amount of time it takes, if we could bring it back to the 20 months or 22 month type horizon, you're able to reverse many of those costs like SLA fines, like cost of capital, like uh, your labor, direct labor costs, because you're not paying for the standing army to be on the site like cost of rental of your equipment, which will be sitting idle for longer periods of time. So we can reverse costs of this kind. Equally, project management costs or um, your own on-staff costs that you're paying as part of your management of a data center, and they can then move on to the next project. So all of these things then shave off up to a million dollars per megawatt installed Mm -hmm. capacity, helping to bring down uh, a $10 million per megawatt to $9 million quite quickly. Incredible. That's really amazing. So if you are watching this live and you want to check out uh, Foresight, they have a booth set up. You can go talk to the team right in the hallway outside of the exhibit hall. Um, And of course, Foresight.works to check out more information. Uh, But thank you so much, Dr. Antip. And it was so glad to to have you on JSA TV again. And uh, thank you to our viewers who are hanging out with us here live from DCD, Virginia. Happy networking, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.